Reward for honesty. Long time ago, Gatu lived in a city with his poor parents. He studied in second standard. Along with studies, he was very fond of pencils of different designs and colorful erasers too. By watching other students having different kinds of erasers and pencils, he also wished to have those with him. Mom, like other students, I want colorful pencils and erasers. But due to lack of money, his parents always refused him. Son, pencils and erasers are too expensive and we don't have that much money with us. Therefore, now Gattu stopped asking his parents for pencil and eraser. But he constantly kept thinking about it. One day, even I will have many wonderful pencils and erasers. Like this, many days passed. One day, while returning from school, on the back road of his school, he saw three different colored pencils and three different colored erasers too. Oh wow! These pencils and erasers are so beautiful! Saying this, he picked them up. Wow! The fragrance from this rubber is nice! But whose are these? He looked around here and there, but he found no one. There's nobody here. I think I should keep these with me. Thinking this, he put all of them in his bag and returned home. During evening, while doing his homework, he remembered. I have those new pencils and aromatic erasers too. Today, I will complete my homework with them. He took out those pencils and erasers from his bag and started doing his homework. And suddenly, his mother came over there. Gattu, what are you doing? Mom, I'm doing my school homework with these pencils and aromatic eraser. But who gave you this pencil and eraser? Mom, when I was returning back from school, on the back road of school, I found three pencils and three erasers. And... You kept all of them? Yes, mom. This is very wrong, Gattu. You shouldn't have picked them up, son. But mom, there was nobody around. I'm sure while returning from school, they must have fallen from someone's bag. You better give them to the principal tomorrow. But mom, these are extremely nice. I always wanted these kinds of pencil and erasers. Gattu, greed can land anyone in trouble, you know. So we should be honest always and if these kind of pencil and erasers are in your destiny, then sooner or later you will have them anyhow. On his mother's explanation, Gattu understood. As you say, mom. Next day, along with those pencils and erasers, Gattu went to the principal's room and he said to the principal, Principal, sir, I found these pencils and erasers in the back road at the school. Please keep them and give these to whoever they belong to. Very nice, Gatu. I appreciate your honesty. Everyone should be as honest as you are. Gatu was delighted in hearing Principal's words and went from there. Principal called the peon and said, Go to each and every class and tell everybody that someone found three beautiful pencils and three aromatic erasers. He has deposited them with me. Therefore, whoever they belong to shall come and collect them from me quickly. Pion did the same. When Pintu, who was classmate of Gattu, got to know about this, he thought, Those are my pencils and erasers. I shall go right now and collect them from Principal Sir. He came out of the class and headed towards Principal's room. While on his way to the Principal's room, he thought, I lost all hopes of getting back my pencils and erasers. But look how easily I'm about to get them back. Thinking this, he went to the principal's room. Principal, sir, those are my pencils and erasers. All right, Pintu. Take your pencils and erasers back. On seeing his lost pencil and erasers, Pintu became greedy and he thought, If I'm getting my pencils and erasers back, then why should I take only three pencils and erasers? I shall take five pencils and erasers. And he said to the principal, Principal sir, these are only three pencils and three erasers. 
Whereas, I lost five pencils and five erasers. What? Yes, Principal Sir, I have been cheated. On hearing this, Principal became very angry. Immediately, he called the peon. Raju, call Gattu in my office quickly. Peon called Gattu quickly and Principal asked him. Gattu, how many pencils and erasers you found? Sir, I found three pencils and three erasers. But Pintu is saying that. He lost five pencils and five erasers. So where are the remaining two pencils and erasers? I do not have any idea, sir. Whatever I found, I gave it to you. And then Pintu said, Sir, I am sure he is lying. He must have kept the remaining pencils and erasers with him. No, sir. I am telling you the truth. And if I was supposed to steal pencils and erasers, then I would have kept them all with me. Why would I return you three pencils and erasers? How come we know how you did all this? The principal asked them to keep quiet and said, Gattu is saying it right. If he had to keep those pencils and erasers, then he wouldn't have returned any of those. He would have kept all of them. But sir, my pencils and erasers. Pintu, you lost five pencils and erasers. This means that the pencils and erasers which Gattu found don't belong to you. And since no one still came to claim these pencils and erasers, therefore, being happy with Gattu's honesty, all these three pencils and erasers I am giving now to Gattu. Gattu was delighted on hearing this. He stepped forward and collected all the three pencils and erasers. Thank you, sir. Whereas Pintu was saddened by seeing all this, because he knew that in front of him his pencils and erasers were being given to someone else. And he also knew that by telling the truth, now he will be punished severely by the principal. Therefore, he chose to keep quiet at the moment. Oh God, out of greed, what have I done? And this way, Gattu got a reward for his honesty and Pintu got punished for his greed. So children, with this story, we learn that we should never be greedy. Magical Pencil One day, a magical event took place at Chetan School. Magician performed many wonderful stunts. All children were amazed by watching those wonderful stunts. After the show, when everyone was about to return to their home, Chetan noticed a shining object near the stage. He went close to that. Oh my! This pencil is so lovely! Chetan picked up that pencil and went back home. Next day was Sunday. Chetan's mother asked him to do his homework. Chetan, my son, you have so much of homework. You better watch TV later. First, complete your homework. Mom, please give me some more time. Not at all. Homework first. Chetan got up unwillingly. He took out his books and started doing his homework. He took out same bright pencil from his compass. Let's do my homework today from this. As soon as he started to write down on paper, Magical pencil started rotating and got out from his hand and started moving on his paper by itself. Chetan was astonished. Oh my! What is this? Within a matter of few seconds, that pencil did his entire homework. Chetan matched all the answers. They were right. This pencil has written all the answers correctly and handwriting is also same as mine. Then, pencil again wrote something on paper. Oh, so this is a magical pencil. Now it will be a great fun. Quickly, with the help of that pencil, Chetan completed his entire homework. Mom, I have completed my homework. Now I am watching TV. So soon? Yes, Mom. You can check. Mother checked the homework. It was complete. She wondered but wasn't able to utter a word. Chetan was feeling so happy from inside. That's great. You completed so quickly. Very good. With the help of magical pencil in school, 
Chetan wrote all the answers correctly and showed it to teacher. With the help of magical pencil, Chetan wrote all the answers, but her friend Vani saw all this. I have written, teacher. Teacher was very happy. Very good, Chetan. After school, Vani came to Chetan and started talking about that magical pencil. Chetan, this pencil belongs to magician uncle. After everyone went by, he was searching for this magical pencil. You should return this pencil. Hey, why should I return it? This is so useful for me. Chetan did not listen to Vani at all. Chetan started doing all his homework and schoolwork with that pencil. He got a lot of appreciation in school. Chetan is doing very well in studies. He writes everything very quickly and correctly. Chetan was very happy with his pencil. Gradually, examination time in school came near. One day before exam, while Chetan was sleeping, his mother started preparing his bag. Oh, he has slept. It's his exam tomorrow. He has his pencil and rubber or not? Mother noticed that Chetan's compass has only one pencil and that too is so small now. How will he write in exams with such a small pencil? Writing won't be that good. I shall give him a new pencil. Mother put that magical pencil in an old and dirty pencil box and replaced a new brand pencil in Chetan's compass. Very next day in morning after having breakfast, when Chetan was about to leave for his exam. Mom, my compass! Take this and do everything very carefully in your exams, okay? Yes, Mom, don't worry. I know everything. As soon as question paper came in school, without reading, Chetan took out his answer sheet and opened his compass. He was shocked after opening the compass. A new pencil was there instead of his magical pencil. How come this happened? Where is my pencil? What should I do? Chetan was extremely shocked. He did not understand what to do. He did not know answer of even one question because he nearly left studying. Now he realized his mistake and started crying. <laughs> What happened, Chetan? Why are you crying? While crying, Chetan told everything to his teacher. I don't know answer of even one question. I used to do everything with the help of magical pencil. I have lost my pencil. I am unable to write anything now. Teacher got very upset. You did very wrong, Chetan. I need to talk to your mother and principal, sir. Chetan's mother was called and the principal had a word with her. Chetan apologized to everyone. Please forgive me. I won't do this kind of mistake ever. It's okay. We are giving you one more chance. You can appear for this exam again, but after completion of this terminal. Thank you, sir. That day, Chetan understood one thing, that we should not misuse anything. Otherwise, we can land ourselves in some big trouble. Then, Chetan returned that pencil to magician and swore not to keep anyone's belonging hidden with him. Thank you. Since long, I was searching for this. Please forgive me. Now, I won't keep anyone's belonging without permission. 